What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 video. Today I bring you a tool that enables you to create the most insane character body shapes you imagine very easily. It's called Easy Morph and let's go ahead and review it. So Easy Morph is a plugin that simplifies and enhances animation and morphing capabilities within Unreal Engine. Easy Morph facilitates the creation of skeletal morph targets, allowing devs to adjust and manipulate character models and animations with precision. So let's check it out. All right, so I'm here in one of the example levels. As you can see, we have a character creator where we can essentially adjust sliders to change how our character looks by morphing our bones and so on. So for example, I can make it more muscular, <laughs> which is pretty cool, right? I can change here how the face looks. So literally I added, you know, eyes, uh, um, nose and the mouth is pretty insane. I can add more weight into my character and I can change the skill, right? And when I press play, this is all saved into a file so I can use it, you know, in other levels. Overall, you save your character morph targets to save your character customization, right? Which is pretty, pretty cool. We also have an attack. We can see it morphs like in real time. It looks pretty cool. I mean, it could look a bit smoother, but you can see as an example, right, that you can like create morph attacks and everything, which might, you know, bring you ideas for your game, right? So let's also go ahead and check out the content examples because we have a few, you know, more and more things over here. So first of all, you can see that we have the documentation. You can check it out if you want to learn about anything. And then we go here and have the attack morph, which is what I showed you before. As you can see, we can literally create like attacks and everything. I mean, the possibilities are endless with more targets. We could do even more things, right? This is just an example as an attack. So if you have any more idea from this, you could do it. So you can also see that we can easily use more, you know, use the skeletal morphing. So we go to one state to another, right? Really cool with just in the bones on um, position, the scaling and so on. On top of that, we got here, you know, the morph target animations where we can essentially animate from one, you know, morph target into another one in a very smooth way in an animation. So it's pretty insane. Then we can go ahead and change a bit the morph targets of our player, like in gameplay, for example, I can increase my head size and then Q to use reset it all. Then we can also animate skeletal morphs and morph targets at the same time. So you can see we're using this to literally bring winds, you know what I'm saying, into the character and change as you can see the face and the, you know, hands and everything. It's pretty, pretty insane. So there's a lot of opportunities here. It looks pretty cool. Then we can also attach multiple limbs into a character as an example, which is pretty insane. As you can see, we get <laughs> this cool, you know, kind of creatures and monsters. So you can really get a lot of inspiration from this and you can easily create like these characters within Unreal Engine you know dynamically in gameplay not like in Blender or things like that which is also another door to opportunities so we also can go ahead and do this in the sequencer right we're gonna really see it here but this is running on a sequencer so you can create like cinematics and everything with this then we have some examples of literally morphing characters into little animals like look at this we are having like a horse here like a bird like a fox or whatever so yeah wolf so i can press four and i go into this wolf and everything just looks super fine as you can see it doesn't break the animation thing like that it just marks some of the bones we can go ahead and change this over here we can become a bird <laughs> it's super cool right uh we can become a horse which is pretty insane we can go ahead and change this change this and I can press A to shrink or grow, which is pretty cool. I mean, look at this little character here. And I can press 7 to, you know, get another limb and just walk around with another limb, which is pretty incredible. So, yeah, you can see that there's a lot of things that you can do for this, you know, tool over here. It opens the door for a lot of cool, innovative stuff in gaming, as you can see. So, you can head up into the documentation just in case you have any questions. And of course, check out the asset through the um, marketplace. So, the creator just reached out to make a cool review, and you know, here it is. So, if you want to check it out, go ahead and I think that's, that's pretty cool. So, with that, guys, if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you like video and subscribe to my channel. A lot of unruined five videos have to start, so check them out. If you want my Discord server, follow me on socials. Now, yes, with all said, bye bye. Bye.